There are approximately 24 million people in the United States with diabetes. Of those, about 25% are not aware that they have diabetes. It's a disease of glucose metabolism where individuals' blood glucose level is too high in very simple terms. The majority of patients have type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is a very complex disease, though most patients with type 2 diabetes are overweight or obese. Most patients manifest by having insulin resistance, that is, their body doesn't respond to insulin normally. In addition to that, they have defects in insulin secretions. About 25% of people who have diabetes aren't even aware that they have diabetes. That speaks to the point that many patients with diabetes don't have any symptoms at all. Those patients who develop symptoms should look for extreme thirst, frequent urination, weight loss, having to get up at night to urinate, increased appetite. The major risk factors for type 2 diabetes are genetic, and environmental. Genetic factors are if one has a family history of diabetes, you're at markedly increased risk. The environmental factors are primarily diet and exercise. Being overweight or obese is a major risk factor, and being sedentary is another major risk factor. Type 2 diabetes is particularly more common in individuals of African American background, Native Americans, Hispanics, Asians, particularly South Asians, as well as Pacific Islanders. Untreated diabetes has both short-term and long-term potential complications. Patients with type 2 diabetes are at increased risk for microvascular and macrovascular disease. By microvascular, that means damage to small blood vessels of the kidney and eyes. It's the leading cause of blindness and chronic kidney failure in the United States. Macrovascular complications really affects on large blood vessels. So you're at markedly increased risk for developing myocardial infarction, increased risk for developing peripheral vascular disease, and increased risk for developing cerebrovascular disease, that is stroke. Major research efforts are currently ongoing to try to identify the genes that are responsible for patients developing insulin resistance and these defects in insulin secretion that seem to underlie type 2 diabetes. The hope is that by identifying those genes, new therapeutic modalities can be targeted to them, uh, either for treatment or preferably for prevention.